Hi guys and welcome to today's video on what's wrong. My name is Brugain and in the short video we will see some bad coding practice and you need to figure out what's wrong. If you have not subscribed to the channel make sure to do that right now that way you do not miss any future notification. Let me switch back to today's problem. Right here we have a delete action method where we are retrieving Villa from the database using entity framework and we are deleting that, saving the records, redirecting back to the index page. If I go to the database, let me show you the data here, we have three villas. I want you guys to figure out on what is wrong or identify a bad coding habit right here. And it's time for an answer. Right here when we are deleting anything, we are using the first or default to retrieve that ID. Let me run this application here and show you what happens. I will call the endpoint here home forward slash delete and I will say ID is equal to 2, press enter. It will redirect back to the home page. If I go to database here, that record is deleted. But now if I enter an invalid ID, it will throw an exception. Because first or default will return null here and when we are removing, we need to add an if condition. We have to explicitly check if record is not null. Only then we want to remove that record and redirect back. What you need to remember is when you are using first or default, you should always consider a scenario when the object here will be null. And that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like the video and leave a comment. And if you have not subscribed to the channel, make sure to do that right now. That way you will not miss any future updates from .NET Mastery. Mm -hmm.